Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a review on Ben & Jerry's Cherry Garcia Non-Dairy Ice Cream. It's vegan. Is it good? Stay tuned and watch. It's been like a week now since I put the last vlog out. And uh, I done that like a while ago and I decided to put it out like last week. Because I was doing so many in one week. And I had to spread them out. And I haven't been doing it any for like for the last 2-3 weeks uh, apart. So... And I ran out of uh, vlogs. So I'm going to do this one called Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia. And it's non dairy. I did one is it called the Coconut Seven Layer Bar. And uh, I gave a pretty good review on that one. And I'm going to give a review on this one. Like I said, this is Ch Cherry Garcia. If I could show you, if you, I don't know if you see it right in that. And it's like I said, it's non dairy. I'm going to have some potato chips with it, and plus I'm going to eat it with a spoon to tell you how I feel. I think I, I mean, of course I had it all those times. I just don't remember in, enjoying it the way I enjoyed the coconut seven-legged bar. But I'm going to tell you right in, in, you know, in front of the camera or on YouTube if I like it. And I'm going to take the first spoon and see how I like it. All right, ready? Here we go. All right, that, that was good. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it because I could have sworn I had it. There's times I had it in the past, I didn't like it that much, but I just put the spoon in my mouth with ice cream. It was good. It's not bad. And um, I just put it in the microwave to melt it down more quickly instead of waiting it for it to thaw out. And it wasn't too bad. I had it for 60 seconds. I hit one more spoon. Uh, that one had the chubby in it, and I think that's what I don't like. But it's it's acceptable. I mean, it's all right. I think maybe if you, if you had it, you would enjoy it much better. I don't know. But it, it's it's not bad. But I think I like the coconut seven layer bar better. Yeah, I do. So it's not that I think I do. It has a, a good flavor to it. It's not bad. I just don't like the chubby that much. Like I said, the ice cream, it's not bad. It's, it's pretty good, for, you know, but it's not my, fl you know, favorite flavor. And I guess it's because I, I don't like the cherries in it too much, but it'll do. Like, if there's no other ice cream, I'll, I'll get it. If, if I'm really wishing for it, it's nothing bad to say, say not to have it. I mean, like, you may not like it or may love it. It just depends. But for me, it's not my favorite. So far, my favorite is the coconut seven layer bar and the cinnamon. One which I didn't review yet, but the, coco the, the coconut seven layer bar I did review, like I just said prior. I'll have a few more spoons to tell you how I feel about it, and then I use I'll have some potatoes with it. It's it's good though. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't like the the cherries in it that much. I mean I can do without the cherries. I mean I, the, I, mean, I like bananas with it better, and then, you know chocolate syrup. But the, the cherries I, I don't know about that. But it's worth getting it to try. You know, you got to find out for yourself if you love it. Like I said, it's, if you do get it, I would say you, you like it, but not like it that much. Yeah, I just got the cherries in my mouth. I mean, the cherries ain't bad. It's just, I can eat the cherries alone and enjoy them. But to have it in ice cream, I'm not enjoying it too much. But I'll, I'll still take it. It's, it's, you know, it's not bad, really bad. I just don't prefer them. I'd rather have a banana, like you said. But it's good. I'm, I'm gonna probably eat um, half of it. I'm probably gonna the rest to my father. We'll see. And it's also little chocolate, you know, uh, chocolate bits in here. Little chocolate bars, whatever that is in here. That's pretty good. It's not bad. I mean, it's not good quality chocolate. It's, it's acceptable. It's acceptable. It gives it more flavor, but it's not. It's not the best quality. But I mean, it's something you could just get on without. If you could find better ice cream, a better brand or whatever, a better Ben and Jerry's flavor you like, then go for that one. But I mean, this is all right. Or oh, more, just I don't know. I'm just giving you my opinion. If you, I mean, I would say most people. Percent of fifty percent of people agree with me what and how they feel about it in one sense because the quality of it is not that good. But um, it's it's like you know fair. To, I would say I'll give the stars right now. I would say two and a half stars. 
you know, you know, like I always say, you know, with my LV lugs, one stop band and five stars extraordinary. So two stars would be fair and three stars would be good. So it's, I'll give it two and a half stars. And, you know, some people give it three stars, you know, or two stars, whatever, maybe even four stars. Excellent. I mean, I don't know. But I mean, oh, you're, you're not going to complain. If you watch a movie at ice cream, you're not going to say, I don't want this stuff. It's, it's horrible. It's not, not nothing bad. It just could, it could be better quality or better you know, ingredients, the chocolate and the, and the ice cream itself. But I mean, it's all right. And like I said, the cherries, you, if, you love, if you love cherries, you just may not love them in ice cream. But all in all, it's good. It's, I mean, it's fair, like, you know, I'm going to say it's good, meaning it's, it's acceptable. I mean, it has a sweet taste in it, like a, real sh a lot of sugar. Real dense sugar. And if you're not a sugar person, man, I like it. If you like it, if you, like, you don't mind sugar, you'll probably, you know, enjoy it better. But I'm going to try some potato sauce with it. Oh, I didn't even open a bag. I'm gonna use lays on it. I'm gonna just dip for a minute. Just to see if it tastes, you know, how it tastes with the dishes. I had it in the microwave. The ice, I had the ice cream in the microwave for like 60 seconds, so that was good. At, and it's still sort of soft, but it's still, you know, it's still like, you know, that's soft, soft. Uh, put some ice, ice cream on it, just see how it tastes. It's good, not bad. I don't know if most people have had ice cream with dead shit or what, but it's good. Pull the fuck off. All right. It's good with the potato chips. It tastes better with the potato chips. I mean, if you like potato chips, it'll taste good. I got a good chunk over here. Yeah, I mean, it's good. You gotta try the potato Try it with potato chips, you'll even enjoy it better. If you're watching a movie, good movie, whatever it is, or a TV show, you'll enjoy it. I mean, you just, I don't mean, I can say you won't enjoy it without it. You may love, love it without any potato chips. That's good if you love it. That's good. But in my opinion, I would, like I said, it's 20 stars. It's, you know, it's between fair and good. And then, uh, uh, you know, when, when you're in that realm of being, you know, fair and good, it's not that I say you will never get it again. You just won't probably get it for a long time. So that's my opinion. I usually don't get this flavor, but usually, I talk, talk, my father got the ice cream, and he hasn't been getting the. I, I told him to get cinnamon bun if they have it, and coconut seven layer bar, which they did have it. So I got, I had that last night and the night before. I got no flavor in the freezer, the peanut butter one. I forgot like the whole name of it, but I'm gonna do a review on that tomorrow, or whenever I could. The cinnamon bun, I have to wait for. They, they just don't have it. But the brown, I want to do a review on the brownie ones that have little browns in it. I mean, I might as well tell you a review now, sort of, it don't, it don't have the brownies is in the best quality is. I mean, everybody loves brownies. I think, not everybody, but I mean, most people, if you get good quality brown, brownies, you'll love them. But in the, the quality of brownies they put in the Ben & Jerry's is not really good. I'll tell you straight out now. But I'm going to still do a review on it and give you more detail, I guess, if I could. But I mean, with this, with this uh, Jerry Garcia, I'm practically done. I don't know what else to say about it. It's, you know, you, you, you could be two things. You either don't like it, you say it's fair, it's good, or it's excellent. I, nobody, I don't think the world's going to say it's extraordinary. So, that's my opinion on it. And I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I just want to say thank you again, like I said, and you know, in the past, for all the subscribers I'm getting, I got over a thousand subscribers now. I'm at, currently, I'm at 1,200, over 1,200. 
And thank you for every single one of you for subscribing to me and watching my vlogs whenever you could. I appreciate all your comments. When you write to me, they're all positive. I thank you and, I, you know, I try to get back to every single one of you if I could. And I do. And sometimes I'm not, you know, I'm not getting notified. When you do write, and I go back to it, like, you know, to all the prior vlogs I did. I took, you know, this person wrote to me like two weeks ago or, or three days ago. I was never notified by YouTube for whatever reason how YouTube is if you've been on long enough. And I write back to them. So on the most part, as currently right now, I try to write back to everyone saying thank you for complimenting and giving me whatever advice they ask me. And I just want to thank you again for, for subscribing. And if you take my bell, even thank, I mean, thank you for that too. And like I said, don't give up. It's a lot of hard work to keep up with it. And um, I'm not I'm not giving up right now. Hopefully I won't. I'll, I'll see how it goes. And I don't know if I'm gonna be doing vegan reviews any uh, you know for you know in the long run. I may to stick with them in, in in a sense where I'll probably shove them into my vlog and talk about them for a minute or two if I could, or 30 seconds, and I'll move on to something else. Let's say on my vacation, I won't be doing that for 10 minutes, but uh, I'll probably talk about it for 20, 30 seconds, whatever else I could, and then I'll go talk about something else. I'll, I'll always try to put the vegan food in to my vlogs. It's just something I have desire for to get, to get the message out that if you're vegan or if you're looking to eat vegan food, I'll try to get that out. Right now, I'm gonna try to stick with vegan vlogs. If I could, and I may do one or two like out of you know out of nowhere that has nothing to do with vegan vlogs. Where something comes up, I need to talk about because I have something planned in a few weeks to talk about something else. And I'm not going to bring it up in this vlog, but I mean, I just just to get you know just to tell you. But on the most part, right now, I mean, 99% of the time we're talking about vegan food reviews. That's for right now. I don't know if it's gonna, like I said, I don't know if it's gonna happen a year from now. But I mean, if I go to Hawaii, something like that, I won't be, I'm probably doing, you know, shoot, you know, talk about all, all, you know, all those places I've been going to and vegan restaurants and stuff like that. But I won't really, maybe talk about the whole whole thing. I may have to do one vlog on it and talk, you know, and then when I'm vacationing somewhere, so it's got swimming in water or whatever, jumping into a river. I'll probably film now. Whatever it is fun I'm having, you know, it, it all depends how it works out. All right. So I just want to thank you for listening. And uh, like I said, always think positive, and that's how you're going to be happier. When you think positive, feel positive, and you're being in a realm where those positive things happen. And I mean, I think, I think the trick is, too, if you want to have those good things happen, you need to be in the vortex of positivity. Because all good things are, are not vortex of what you want. If you're out of it, it may not come. And if it does, good. I mean, I want it to come for you. But I think from my, from my understanding, from what I understand, it, if you're thinking negative, it just you can't be tracked to the positive. Think positive, feel positive, love yourself, be happy. And those things that you want, it'll come in time. And have your faith, have faith in what your vision is. Follow your heart. Okay, thank you for listening. Bye for now.